Hello guys, the One Piece Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we are going to be hopping into this offline regional. Also, it says the commentary starts at 26.30. That's just not true, because it's starting right now, baby. But alright, we got Sakazuki versus Reiju, and we got Harvoji Hetsuda, uh, which got second place at the Europe Championships and second place at Worlds versus Giorgio uh, Sartorio, and they start off with the stage, which is broken there. Like, that's what you're trying to start with every game. Uh, but yeah, it's just a one dawn turn, so just do that. Pass. All right. And now uh sakazuki i think sakazuki here definitely has the better matchup especially with being able to bottom deck the opponent stuff is definitely nice but okay yeah looking at them they're gonna go ahead discard a rob lucci there to go ahead and draw one uh, i'm trying to look at their hand to see exactly what they have okay so they just activate a great eruption as an upstart goblin pass turn nice and then all right yep go ahead refresh everything try to see the hand um, they don't have anything good in Grave yet, neither, well, I guess they have Luchi in Grave, which is kind of nice. Um, okay, so they're going to go ahead, stage, discard the 7, which they got last turn, which is good. Uh, you know, it's very good to have that in the graveyard there. Um, and they're going to go ahead, look at the top 3 cards, thinking of which one they want to go ahead and grab. Um, so they're going to grab the 5, which is the Niji. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, I can see, like, Houndblaze in that hand. Luchi, so they're gonna go ahead uh, activate the one cost uh, which will go ahead look at the top five cards and then grab one so they're gonna grab the four cost i don't even know that card's name but that's the one that brings out the seven with the with the rush and all that it's not gonna work those turns they only got two so they're just gonna seven swing that goes through all right cool and then i also i like i like how they put the dice there so that way you can see how much life they have exactly um, so they just went Sakaduki attack, and they dropped the 1k counter, stop it, so when Kuzan, draw one, and now they will Sakazuki discard and draw, here's what it seems like, um, you know, they're very good at filtering through cards, um, and they will get rid of, looks like they're gonna get rid of Hino, alright, sure, you can get that back with the Rebecca later on, and then they're gonna go ahead, reset the stuff, and then, you know, put the Dawn, draw one, pass, Okay, so also one thing one thing about uh, the Raju deck too, if you don't if you don't start with the stage, your deck's actually just dog water. I'm not gonna lie. Like if, if you don't get that card early on, your deck's actually just like infinitely worse. Um, but they're gonna go ahead, look at the top five, and they're thinking about what they want to grab there. Uh, sure. So I can't see exactly what was in it. I see like the 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 two, which goes into the four. I can see. The four Raju, maybe they're thinking about that. Oh, 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 are the judge, which is the eight Dawn. Uh, sure, I mean, once you get to that, if you do drop that, I mean, that's like a huge swing because you get to bring out like four bodies instantly, uh, pretty much off of that. Well, three off of that, but also that one itself. Uh, but it's also hard to get to eight since you guys go minus one Dawn to do anything. So they're going to go ahead grab out the four Raju, and then put back to the bottom. All right, so now they're just going to go activate the stage card there, discard the four Raju, look at the top three, and then, yeah, they have to keep thinking about uh, which one they're going to grab there based off what they have in their hand. Uh, so thinking about it hard there, that looks like, okay, they're just going to grab the four there. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so I can't see exactly how many they have in hand, but they're probably just going to, oh, Okay, okay, okay. I thought they were just going to go for that right away, but sure, sure. Just two into the four that was in the grave. Uh, draw one off the leader, two off the Raju, uh, like, the, like the, the character one. So now they could go swing four, seven at leader. Uh, keep knocking their opponent's life down there. Oh, okay, they're only going to swing for six. They stop it. And then we're going to activate the Jerma 66, the one that says, you know, look at the top five, grab whatever you want. And then, yeah, they're probably going to set it down there real quick, look at their hand, and then grab it like they've done it every other time. Uh, you know, just assuming. Ah, yup, 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 I'm crazy, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. Uh, but this deck, once it starts rolling, does get insane, because it will just always have so many cards in hand. Uh, and its graveyard is a whole other resource. Uh, I can see the opponent has Ice Age in hand, Hound Blaze, so they're not playing the uh, the the other build of the deck, the one with the stage. Uh, but okay, 
Yeah, they're still thinking. Also, I have this on 1.25 times speed. Okay, so they're going to grab the judge off of that. Yeah, that is fine. Okay. And then pass play. All right, so they drew the Hina for turn, sure. So they, they have the Kuzan on the field, which can drop by four. So we can instantly get rid of that Reiju if we want to, make it not a threat. Um, but then the Kuzan could obviously get beat over once we go ahead and do something like that. We got we got the, uh, the Hina that can drop down. We got, trying try to see, oh, we got the 7 cost. Borsalina in hand, but I'm pretty sure this is their 6 Dawn turn, so that won't work. Yeah, it should be 6 because their opponent started on 1. Alright, makes sense. So discard Hina, draw 1. They draw a Hell Meppo there. Which is good for like future Gecko Moria plays, which we know that they have. So they're gonna go ahead, attack leader, uh, minus four, and then Hound Blaze. So go ahead, bottom deck, and attack with eight. So they're gonna have to drop two if they want to stop this one. Uh, you know, well, you know, drop a four K counter, but drop two two Ks, and then they draw there. Okay, so get that in, and now they probably have a nice four that they can drop, like a Borsalino, Kuzan. Uh, something like that. Uh, oh, the Rebecca that's in their hand. Okay, yeah, they can go Rebecca into the Hina. Sure. Uh, so, yeah, just special that right out, which is good. Um, you know, putting multiple bodies up, Rebecca up to be able to protect ourselves. Now the opponent is going to try to get to the four cost, which I'm pretty sure they actually already have, right? So they can actually rush. So they're definitely outing the coups on this turn. Well, it's not definitely, because if they just go swing five into it, then they're just going to counter out of it, obviously. Oh, they never put their Don there. Okay, 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 okay. That makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense. I was going to say, like, something didn't seem right. Yeah, they definitely have to remember to do that. That is just how the game works. Um, but okay. All right, so now... Yeah, one, one bad thing is, like, some people do be taking a long time to think. Uh, but this is probably just going to be... Uh, I, I guess we could also bounce back the Kuzan to out it instead of trying to attack over it. You know, that's one thing that, you know, can definitely happen here. Okay, so they're going to go 6 in the Kuzan, 2k out of that, obviously. Yeah, summon, bounce back, sure, pass. So they still have the Rebecca in play, which is huge. We should be able to out the 5k here, but we don't even like have to out the 5k here. Uh, so now they are on the 8 turn. I guess they could also just Sakazuki attack with 6, drop down the 4, 7 Borsalino, Hina attack, easy, uh, out that. And also a bottom Dexa, and yeah, it didn't, didn't look like they have one in their grave there. So they're not going to be able just to get back to that super easily. So they're going to go Sakaduki, uh, discard, and then draw one. Discards the Kuzan that they got rid of before, or that they bounce back. Okay, sure, so they get out of that. And now they're going to go, yeah, to like poke, drop by one, okay. And then, yeah, they're going to go ahead, counter out of that, and then summon bottom deck, your go. All right, so now they should, wait. They should have eight now, right? Yeah, they should have eight now. So they could drop the judge, which, you know, bring it out. Discard two, bring back from the grave. Uh, but I don't remember exactly what they have. And the fact that they just got rid of the 5k or the five cost one there uh, means they probably won't have that one. Okay, so they're going to grab that. I, I don't know the name of that one. That's the mom, though. Okay, that's fine. And then, yeah, they're looking through the graveyard there, seeing exactly what they have. Definitely something that you have to do against this matchup a lot to see exactly what they have. Um, so they're going to go ahead, you know, minus one, uh, trash two, and then bring back out as many as they want, and then draw one off the Reiju. So they're going to bring out the four and the two. Sure, sure, sure. And then... They have the four that could go ahead and do its thing, the two that can go ahead and do its thing. So go ahead, tag out, bring that out, and then, yep, draw two off that. And then tag out the four into the seven. And then that's going to go ahead, 
It can attack this turn now. Minus 2k onto the Hina. So it drops it down to 3k. Now they can easily just out that. They're not going to be able to stop it. Yep, so out that and then attack the life. And then, yeah, they just want to see if they want to take it. Because they could also stop it with the Rebecca there. Uh, that's what they're going to go ahead and do. Sure. All right, cool. So pass. And now they are on 10. So now they could drop like... Uh, I guess like a Gecko Moria, but you really need to out the Judge there. Yeah, you really need to out the Judge there. I'm fairly certain it's not just on play, and it's just during the main, so they can do it every single turn. So that's something that you just gotta get rid of. So they're gonna go ahead, discard Hell Meppo, draw one. I guess you could still out it if you go for Gecko Moria, because, I mean, we do have the Rebecca and the Hell Meppo engrave, and we have Sakazuki, so we can minus seven it. Okay, we're just going to go summon out the Tashigi. Look at the top five. And then grabs the Ice Age there. Okay, and that's minus five for one. And then they're going to swing at leader and then minus one on to judge. Sure, so now it's at seven. And then now they're going to go ahead swing. I don't, I'm not sure what they're swinging at there. They could be swinging at life, but they could also... Okay, yeah, they're going to swing at life. And then Ice Age, drop down. So now that is a 2. And then summon... Wait, does Ice Age only do 4? I thought it did 5. Uh, okay, whatever. So now, go for that. Oh, I guess that would make sense for it to be at 2 if it's 5. Yep, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, so they're going to go ahead... Hemuppo minus Robolucci Pomp. Yeah, I mean that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. There's a reason why they got second place at Nats and second place at Worlds. You know, you're not gonna do that uh being horrible, obviously. So now they're gonna go ahead and use the field there or stage card and then discard. Look at the top three. Uh this game's definitely not over though. I'm pretty sure there's only Two life for the Reiju player, which also sucks for them. Okay, grabs the four. Uh, but that's just, you know, another body that can now poke this turn because it'll bring out the one with the rush. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I thought they were about to do something with them. Okay, not sure, sure. A lot, a lot, a lot of people just mess with their Dawn cards, but they're going to go ahead. Yeah, for that. Uh, draw one off the leader, uh, make it that way, the Borsalino 7 gets dropped down from the 7, and then go ahead, beat over the Borsalino, sure, and they just let that go, um, cause, I mean, they'd have multiple more swings, so, countering out of that isn't the greatest, but we do go ahead, counter out of that attack, poke, yeah, take one off the life, and then summon, and then that can go ahead and bring out the blocker. Wait, oh, that's not the blocker one. Okay, that's that's the bounce back one. I mean, hey, look at that. That, that was pretty good, though. That was pretty good, though. That was pretty good, though. Uh, they outed some of the field. Obviously, something like Gecko Moria is going to be able to out one of these sevens. Actually, I'm not sure how many cards they got in hand, though, for us to worry about. Uh, so they're going to go Sakazuki, discard Rob Lucci, draw one. And then, yeah, so they have the 10 Dawn to work with once again. I see a 4-cost Borsalino in their hand. I think I saw an Ice Age in there, too. Uh, the Rob Lucci is engraved, so if they have, like, another Gecko Moria, or even, like, a Rebecca, you, you, you could try to work with that. Um, but, okay, yeah, they're just thinking about how they want to do this exactly. Uh, if you do mess up this turn actually yeah if you, if you mess up you just lose that's just how it is with this deck completely if you mess up you probably just lose but attack leader minus one onto the niji there dropping it down to four they counter out and then nine most likely not attacking leader there yeah probably just trying to beat over one of the bodies there um and they're thinking about if they want to get out of this which, I mean, if you can, you definitely do, right? Yeah, you almost, like, for sure do it. Oh, no, okay, okay, they're just attacking life. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's fine. We're not gonna... 
you know, drop three cards to stop that. That's okay. And then summon, drop down. And then Ice Age, drop down. So it's two and two. And then summon out a Gecko Moria. So summon out Luchi and the Sudoru. So bring out, bring out, and then drop down by two. Luchi pop both. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wiping a lot of the field again there. And then, yeah, they only have four in hand. Nah, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. So it's pretty hard to lose right here. Even if they can get to one of the rushes, you probably got a bunch of counter in hand. They probably, they might not even try to go for it. But okay, look at the top three. And then, yeah, I can't see what they hit there. But they hit the one mom. That's a 2k counter. That could also add back from the trash. Yeah, they're looking at how many Dawn they have. Because th this deck, you actually have to like completely keep track of Dawn. How many do you have every turn? Because other decks, it just goes up. But obviously, with this, it doesn't because you minus a bunch. But okay, they're going to go ahead and grab. And then... Uh, I wish I wish there was like... I, I guess there is like a hand cam. I guess I just got to look at the hand cam to truly see what they have. Okay, they have uh, the two. The two Reiju. They can bring out the four. They have two of the, or three of the, the Kayas, which I think says, like, draw two, discard two. Now, it's also a 2K counter. But, yeah, now they're thinking hard, because now if they mess up, now they lose. Um, yeah, there's definitely a few more turns in this game than other games that people play. But, yeah, it looks, I mean, there's also not, too much time left okay so they're gonna go one bring out trash grab back yup grab back the four summon yeah and then use it put back bring out seven draw one minus two uh-huh that's fine and then so what are they gonna do from here are they just going to try to out the Gecko Moria that they minus the 2k on? Uh, because it's not looking great for them. Because they only have... I'm pretty sure they only have the one life. It's really hard to tell with the white sleeves on the white mat with the glare. I'm pretty sure they only have one life there. Which means it only takes two pokes to go through for them to lose. Uh, trying to see. Let's see. They have... They got like 3k counter in hand, no, 4k, yeah, 4k counter in hand for the Sakazuki players, so 7, swing, yeah, they protect that one, counter out of it, that's good, and now, I guess they're thinking how exactly they want to distribute this, because you could go 7 and 7, or you could go 9 and then 5 at something else. Which really, like, 7-7 seven, seven is going to, like, force almost the same things. Except for... Ah, actually it doesn't, because then two 1Ks get out of it. Okay, so they're probably going to do two onto their 7 to attack the Gecko Moria. Or they're still thinking very hard. Okay. Yeah, this is, it's just crazy, because, like, it's taking, like, minutes to do this. Okay, so now, yeah, yeah, seven. Well, let's go up to nine. Yep, to get out of that, that's game. GG. Well played. Well played. And now, yeah, yeah, they, they realize it too, that they just lose. So now they have their leader swing. I mean, you may as well do it before you lose, right? Yeah, go ahead, swing. Sure. Yep, their turn. All right, cool. That's game. Oh, look, they're getting excited. Yep, they're going to go ahead. Nine onto life. They're going to counter out of that. Non, nine onto life. They take that one. Yup. And then go uh, 16 game. Yup. GG's. 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 And, you know, that is, uh, you know, that is going to be it for the entire One Piece series that we've been covering. And with a lot being said, the One Piece Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.